Hi, I'm just about to start decorating this bathroom and looking at the ceiling, it's got two classic examples of defects you can get in these sort of environments. So over here, just by the window, we've got a small area of mould that I'm going to have to deal with. And on the other side, <coughs> immediately above the shower, you can see there's an area of flaking paint. So those two defects I'm going to have to deal with first. I think I'm going to start with this area of mould. Okay, so to treat the area of mould here, I'm going to be using just normal household bleach, which I've got in this bucket here, and I've diluted it with one part of bleach and three parts of water. I've also got my safety gloves on and my safety glasses, so I don't really want to get splashed with bleach. So, bring the cloth out. So I'm just going to wipe over that area now. And as you can see, a lot of it comes off straight away with the bleach solution as I'm wiping it over, which is quite good. So there you go, that looks better already. Now what I'll have to do now is I'm going to leave that overnight or 24 hours just to let the bleach do its work on the remaining mould there. Then hopefully when we look at it tomorrow there'll be virtually no evidence of the mould ever being there. So that'd be brilliant. So now my next job is to have a go at this flaking paint. I'm ready to make a start now on stripping off this flaking paint here. I'll just be using these normal painters and decorators scrapers to do the job. What I'm hoping is I'll be able to take off the loose and take it back to one, a firm edge. So hopefully not too big an area will be coming off. So let's get this dye and have a look. That's nice and firm on that edge there, look. It won't come off anymore, so that's good. Just work all the way around. Wait a minute, get it back to a nice firm edge. So that's a nice firm edge all around that patch there. Now I'm just going to carry on and do these other areas and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so that's all that scrape back to a nice firm edge on each of those little patches there. So what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to use a bit of abrasive paper just to rub it over, just to get rid of any last mainly deposits on the edges. Just a light rub. Like that, just get rid of any loose flaking bits which are left, and then dust it off. Like that. Now we were quite fortunate in this bathroom because in yours you never know you might be having flaking paint all over the ceiling and in that case sometimes it's just as good to take the whole lot off and start again so if you're going to be doing that you might want to use one of these heavy duty scrapers because they are very good for getting off stubborn bits of paint as well they've got a very sharp blade in the end and you can get replacement blades for these they cost about five or six pounds but when you're using them, make sure you keep them at a very low angle because it's very easy to dig chunks of plaster out where you're working. So that's heavy duty scraper if you're going to take the whole lot off. Fortunately, we don't have to here. So before we paint that or do anything to that, I'm going to seal it first. Because if you don't, as soon as you put any filler or paint on there, very shortly afterwards, these edges will lift up again and you'll be back to square one. So. What I'm going to seal it with is some of this PVA glue we've got here. Now this one comes from a major DIY chain for about six pounds. That one, Poundland, so you don't have to spend a lot of money on this sort of stuff. And it's good for sticking glue in wood, all sorts of things. It's good apparently to have some of this at home if you haven't already got it. Okay, so what I've done, in this paint kettle here, I've mixed up one part of the PVA glue 
to three parts of water, just the same as the bleach earlier on, one to three solution. And I'm just going to brush it over those patches just to seal those edges so that it stops them from flaking off again. So just a thin coat of glue, just brush it over your areas where the paint was flaking, like this. There we go, that's all sealed. And the good thing is this is a water-based glue, so I'll just have a bit of nip downstairs and wash on my kit up quite quickly. So I'm going to leave that overnight to dry and leave the bleach overnight as well. So we'll come back tomorrow and we'll carry on with the job. So yesterday I treated the mould up in the corner there, which is all but gone now, so that's brilliant. Then over here, I scraped off the flaking paint and sealed it with the old PVA glue solution. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some filler to fill over these areas so there's not going to be a dent showing when I go to paint it. So I'm just going to be using this standard poly filler to do it. But you could use any sort of powder based filler. Most is suitable for doing this. So I've mixed it up on the board already to that consistency. Ready to go. I'm using a filling oven, it looks like a scraper, it's a bit more bendy than a scraper, this filling oven, so that's what I'm going to be using. Okay, so cut some of it off onto the blade like that and go over these areas like that. Okay, so that's, that's those filled in. If I had some bigger areas to do, obviously I couldn't use this little filling knife, so what I would use is one of these plastic corking tools, and I'd load it up with the filler along the edge of it, then use that to fill over, fill over the bigger areas. So if that's what you've got in your environment, that's what you're gonna to need to use. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that, probably because it's quite a warm day today, about an hour to dry, then I'll come back in a minute ready to give it a quick rub down over. Okay, so that filler seems to be nice and dry now, so it's ready for a rub down to get it nice and smooth. And to do that, I'm going to be using some of this 120 grade abrasive paper. First of all, though, I'm going to put my mask and goggles on. Like that. You shouldn't be, have to press too hard for this. So rub, rub over. Okay. Little dust off. Suitably dusty. So that's all rubbed down nice and smooth now. So the next thing I've got to do is I've got to give that coat of paint to prime the surface. Now, the paint I'm going to be using on top recommends to either apply some this Bullseye 123 if you have it, if not, just a normal matte emulsion will do the job. So what you need to do is to thin it with about 20% water. So it'll absorb into that filler and get its little fingers in there and grip onto it to stop it flaking off. So I've already got some of the paint in here, thinned it 20% with water, so it's a lot more thinner than usual. 
So I'm just going to apply this over the filler. So this is just soaking very nicely into that filler to get really good adhesion with it. As you can see, you don't need a lot. See, when you mix it up, just put a little bit in a little paint kettle and add some water to thin it down a bit. You don't need lots of this. So now what I've got to do, I'll let that dry for about an hour or two to sort of fully dry out. Then we'll be ready to apply the top coat on top of that. Okay, so that mist coat I applied over the fillers nice and dry now, so I can crack on and paint the ceiling. Well, I could use a normal emulsion paint, but the problem is, before long, we're probably about to square one with the mould back over there and the paint flaking off the ceiling. So the paint I've chosen to use is this particular one here. It's called Perma White, <coughs> and it's ideal for painting things like bathrooms and kitchens, where you've got the chance of mould and flaking paint. This particular one has got a biocide in it, which prevents mould growth. And it's got a formulation that stops water vapour penetrating through it as well. And it's got a seven year guarantee on it, which is pretty brilliant, isn't it? Um, it dries in about two hours, so you can get another coat on after about two hours this. It's a water-based paint as well, and you can apply it by either brush or roller, um, depending on your choice. Other manufacturers also make similar sort of paints for kitchens and bathrooms with similar sort of guarantees. But if you look on the internet, you see that this one is held in quite high regard by painters and decorators. So um, this is the one I'm going to be using. So I'm going to crack on and do the ceiling, then I'll have a quick look when I finish. Okay, so here we are then. So the ceiling's all finished now. I had two coats of the old perma white paint. So it's looking a lot fresher and cleaner and hopefully it's going to stay looking that way for many years to come without any more of that mould and that flicking paint we had when we started. Um, one other thing, the manufacturers do say don't use the shower or the bath for 24 hours, just let the paint fully harden. Oh, and if you get similar problems like we had on the ceiling with the flicking paint and the mould on your walls, then a similar procedure applies on those to take care of that. So I hope you found this video useful. And if you have, why not subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with all my latest videos.